Telespectadores, se relaciona a visita a Timor-Leste, fundador no Presidente do Conselho Consultivo da Organização de Desenvolvimento Humano. No ano, estamos presidente do Comitê de Desenvolvimento Humano, Câmara de Comércio Europeia e Singapura, marcou na presença do estudo GMN, Dr. Bob Aubrey. E, uma vez mais, eu gostaria de bem-vindo ao Dr. Bob to German TV. You. Good evening. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here on my first day to Timor-Leste. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let us begin with the main purpose of your visit to Timor-Leste. What is it? And do you think you have or will achieve that goal by the end of this visit? Well, the goal is to mm -hmm. come and uh, be able to contribute what we can. Uh, as the founder of the Human Development Organization, that's not a government organization. Mm -hmm. It's not a company. It's a, it's a civil society organization. So we try to help the ASEAN countries on human development where they are. So different countries have different offices and different teams working there. My mm -hmm. purpose in coming here was yeah. th to discuss after the uh, idea that there is a roadmap for Timor-Leste to join, there is a big dimension of human development, uh, not just required, but, but requested by the ministers to say, what are we going to do to be able to move forward in human development for the country? Yes, sir. You as an expert of, uh, what the, uh, you, you as an expert of AHDO, what, what is HDO assistance in order for Timor-Leste accession to ASEAN? The assistance will take fa several phases. For the moment, it's to uh, be able to co-create uh, uh, the objectives for Timor-Leste. There, there are many things to do, but where do you set the priority? What do you do first? What is the most important? Where mm -hmm. can you get help? Those are the things that this trip I'm trying to uh, discuss and learn with the different minister contacts to say what is the most important, what should we, what should we look at, look work on. There will be a second phase, obviously, which is to say, okay, then we need to make action plans. Explain, okay. What will be the expert outcomes from the meetings with the key ministers in the government uh, of Timor-Leste? I would say for this meeting will be what are the priorities that we are fixing, mm -hmm. uh, what is achievable in the short term, and what is most important, I believe, is not only what Timor-Leste can gain from ASEAN, there are, ma there are many things mm -hmm. from this big community with the fast growth economy uh, and ASEAN as a, as a community has been around for more than 50 years. So there's a lot to gain. But Timor-Leste also has something to bring to the table uh, for, uh, for ASEAN, it, uh, n notably the governance of a country uh, by the people that is actually implementing uh, democratic government and uh, elective government is one. The other is Timor-Leste has natural resources and particularly the, the highest biodiversity in the world. So this is important for the rest of the world and particularly for ASEAN where you have other countries that are struggling with the idea of how do we combine economic development mm -hmm. and sustainable development so that we're not destroying the environment and the, and the resources that we actually have. In your view, are the obstacles and benefit of Timor-Leste entry into ASEAN? I would say the obstacle is, is really that there is this roadmap mm -hmm. with many, many uh, things to do, such as trade agreements, etc. So it's a big effort to try to say, we're going to meet uh, all the all the uh, elements of the, of the of the of the roadmap, right? So there are a big list of things to do. The the trap is that you just check the boxes and you say, okay, we did this, we did this, we do this, and then we can be a member. But the question really is, what does uh, Timor Leste want to do in ASEAN? What can we bring to ASEAN? Mm -hmm. What are the priorities for us to yeah. to bring? So to give an example. If you take education, which is a big objective for the mm -hmm. country, ASEAN has these networks of universities that can actually create yeah. degrees, can send professors. So it's a lot better to have tho those university studies <coughs> in the country uh, rather than having to send the students to another country all the time. You can really have a much bigger impact. Dr. Bob, particularly for Timor-Leste, what do you think would be the challenge for human resources development? I don't like the word resource because we don't <laughs> consider people as resource. That's, okay. a, that, that's what we use in companies, that's what the, the banks use because mm -hmm. they, they, they look at the numbers. But 
The fundamental thing, and this is where we're aligned with Timor-Leste, is that people are a, uh, a power, people determine their own uh, life, they, they make choices. Uh, so how do we develop in such a way that, Timor, that people of Timor have a better life? Work is part of it, education is part of it, of course. The obstacle is that you have, uh, as, as in some other countries, a young population, yeah. Uh, you don't have a, uh, an education system that has reached them all. So there are uh, issues of education, there are issues of health. But to take another example, if you look at China, which did very well in terms of development of education, mm -hmm. now they have uh, a problem of uni university graduates that don't have jobs. And how to develop uh, steamer people uh, to based on ASEAN condition? Well, that's it. So how do you create a sustainable society, a sustainable workforce that doesn't destroy, okay. use all the resources, and then yes, you have a, an economic growth, and then suddenly you have a crisis, right? And this has happened again and again mm -hmm. uh, in ASEAN as well as in the rest of the world. In fact, many countries in the, okay. in the rest of the world today are facing this situation that is not sustainable. So with the Prime Minister today in the discussion, we were talking about sustainability of the environment but sustainability of human development also is very important. Okay, the last question. What, uh, oh, uh, sorry, would you have particular message for the government of Timor-Leste in relation to the process of joining ASEAN? The, 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 the idea is that each country has its own identity, right? ASEAN has an identity of a people-centered community. So there is diversity of the countries. But the idea for Timor-Leste is not just to join mm -hmm. ASEAN, but to contribute to ASEAN. And, uh, and, and I think our job to, at this stage is how do you develop a model, a, an identity for Timor-Leste? When I talk to people about Timor-Leste, they say, I don't know about Timor-Leste, yes. you know, what is it? So it's, it's that kind of communication mm -hmm. as well as development that is important for Timor-Leste to to develop as well as uh, with the networks in ASEAN. Okay, Dr. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you for your presence here you. in GMN TV and glad to talk with you. I'm glad to be here. Okay. Thank you. Diego Vindos, todos os telespectadores, irá nem marcar entrevista bada com the founder and chair of the advisor board of the ASEAN Human Development Organization, Dr. Bob Aubrey, e tu continua informação celo.